and that is all because the benzene uh, molecule is very unreactive and that's why our reaction is very slow so now let's do another example in which we form nitrobenzene I'm doing these two examples with you because the halogenation and the nitration of benzene are the only two uh, electrophilic substitution mechanisms they ask you to draw so this is benzene I'm sorry for the diagram I'll just make it a little better my handwriting is not so good as you can see so we have benzene We have our ring and we want to nitrate it. We want to add a nitro, we, have, we want to add the NO2 group. We want to add the NO2 group. So again, we have an NO2 plus ion movement of electron pairs from benzene to this. So curly arrow over here. Then we get our intermediate where we will draw the regular the structure of benzene first. Then we will draw the H with the NO2 and we have a broken circle inside with a plus charge. We have a broken circle inside and to neutralize this plus charge this electron these electrons will move over here and we will get our benzene molecule back a stable benzene molecule back the circle is complete we get NO2 over here and we also get H plus ions because these are kicked out these are released from here as we attach NO2 so this is nitrobenzene as I showed it to you in the in, when I was giving you examples of some common aryl compounds and this is the electrophilic substitution mechanism it is very easy as you can see just need to remember the curly arrows and you'll be good to go and now let's move further so important reactions of benzene and the reagents and conditions involved so like just let's go through all the reactions i have given you all the reaction conditions the reagents so you don't need to refer to any book or anything else just learn it from here and you'll be ready for your exam so first halogenation of benzene what we just did in the last slide when i was explaining the electrophilic substitu substitution mechanism to you so the reagent is X2 where X is the halogen so in, uh, in our case it was Br uh, X was Br because we were adding bromine so and also we have to use these catalysts now as I said it's a very uh, it's a very uh, unreactive molecule the benzene molecule is a very unreactive molecule so we need to use a catalyst to make this reaction happen now you must be wondering how did I get the Br plus ion over there because if you remember I made the benzene molecule react with the Br plus ion so what we do is for the formation of the Br plus ion we first have this reaction which is Br2 I am taking Br because we did Br plus a L I can use any of these three catalysts it doesn't really matter plus ALCL3 gives me A L this is a complex uh, A L C L3 B R negative because uh, this ALCL3 uh, this ALCL3 compound it breaks the Br2 atom heterolytically heterolytic fission is when a bond breaks into uh, breaks like a bond breaks such that it forms Br negative it, it, it says that it forms ion so in this ca case it will be Br negative and Br positive this is called heterolytic fission so 
this compound breaks the bromine atom bromine molecule heterolytically so as it breaks the bromine molecule